Hi Simmers, welcome back to my channel. This is Kendra Plays the Sims, and for today's video, I am just gonna be playing through Snowy Escape. I've never played this pack before. I actually just bought it when all the packs went on sale for 50% off. I'm very frugal, so I like to wait and get my games later. But anyways, I decided to buy this pack and I really wanted to play it because I've, like I said, I've never played it before. So I'm really interested to see what features and what functionality this is gonna to add to the game. And I've seen some other reviews and what I've seen was it's actually pretty fun to play. So I'm really excited to see um, what's gonna happen, what kind of things we can actually accomplish with this pack. And I'm just gonna give you my honest thoughts as I'm playing through the game. So if you're interested, just go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, and we actually have our Sim here. Her name is Naomi Wang, and she is a resident of Mount Komorebi. So let's look at some of her um, her traits. So she's adventurous, and I picked this one because I thought it would be really good to go with the aspiration that I picked, and I'll talk about that in just a second. She's proper, she's generous, and she has a high metabolism. So she's really focused on being as athletic as she possibly can. And I know there's some new features in this particular pack that allow you to like increase your fitness level um, in a non-traditional way. So I'm excited to see how that works. And for her, I actually picked this aspiration of an extreme sports enthusiast because I'm really excited about that. I don't know what's gonna happen. So you're really watching my first time ever doing any of this stuff so it's all new to me and i'm really excited so the first thing we got to do is go down bunny slope use a vending machine or the computer to purchase a remedy or deterrent whatever that is and use a mount komorebi info board so that's kind of what we have to do in order to meet our aspiration well the first one anyways and in the meantime i've actually just downloaded this this home from the gallery that is already kind of set up how we need it to be. And it's already got everything um, as far as how Mount Komorebi looks. It's already got that aesthetic. So I'm happy that's there. But here is the home. It's kind of small, but it's really nice. And I'm excited to see how this will work for our sim. So we just have our sim now and I don't think I've really done anything with her at all. <laughs> this is literally me starting from scratch. So as you can see, we have our Sim and she's just watching TV and just playing around on her phone. But what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna start her off with a career. Okay, and here are the careers and I'm really not sure if we got anything new in terms of um, careers with this particular pack i don't know if we have any like associated with mount komorebi so maybe we don't have a new career but we're just going to select one until we can step into something as a salary person um no we're not gonna do that what's something that we can do to keep her in shape so let's let's make her an athlete she wants to be athletic and i think this would be the perfect this would actually be the most perfect aspiration with job for her. So she's gonna start off as a water person and she starts work in two days. So we've got a little bit of time to be able to play with our sim. And oh, Pandola. <laughs> as it says, it says Naomi is an adventure sim. Adventure sims like to seek out new and exciting activities. So we're going to get our sim out of the house. So let's go ahead and explore in Mount Komorebi. Okay, and I'm here with my sim at one of the slopes. So I'm not sure exactly. I don't know why she's going to a kid to chat. But we're going to mingle around with some people. And we're also going to do some skiing and some sledding. And before that happens, um... I think we should actually get to know some of these people here. Um, I don't know, let's see. Let's have her ski down the slopes because that's the first thing that I wanna see. I'm really excited to see how this works. Okay, so maybe I should purchase a snowboard. Oh, what did I miss it? Look how cool that looks. I love that in this game. <laughs> and she even fell too. Oh, she hurt her back. 
So she's got the snowboarding skill too, so we can make that a hobby. Uh, <laughs> we can make that a hobby actually. Um, and just try that out and go to like the different um, sizes of the different slopes. I think you can do that. So you can go on a beginner slope. Yeah, let's go snowboarding one time. And we're just gonna do low intensity since we really don't know what we're doing. So I'm really liking this pack so far. I really like how it's something different, um, gives us some more gameplay. I'm sure after a while it can get kind of old to keep, you know, just doing the same thing over and over. If you're gonna keep skiing or sledding, I can see how it can get a little old, but I like it so far. I think they're going, they have to go indoors to go to the top. So the Sim is just walking in and she just came out of the top too. So I think we're just gonna buy her like a sled, um, some skiing stuff. We're gonna go to that vending machine after we get done. I wanna see what this looks like first. So we've got our Sam just walking around and hopefully we can make this a really good hobby for her. So let's keep the camera on her. So I really like how you, it, ha it gives you a really good simulation of what it would be like to kind of snowboard. I love that. Look at that. See, that's some good gameplay right there. Shout out to The Sims. I like this pack. I like to that you always like land on your backside and I'm sure as you like work on your skills and stuff like that, it slowly goes up. Okay, so she wants some more practice. Um, but before we do that, I am going to actually, that's not it. Where can I go? I think there was a place here. You can order food. I think she's actually hungry. So, ooh, let's do some beef ramen. I think she's sad because she keeps falling. <laughs> She'll be all right. Um, so we're just gonna try out some of the food. I really like how they've gotten um, some things to match the culture of Mount Komarebi. I think that's really, really, really nice. It's nice. So we've got some beef ramen, and Blasare's back hurt. Everybody's falling. Everybody's back is hurt. <laughs> so I like that. We've got some new recipes too. Let's see what else we have. Mount Komarebi matcha. Uh, hot coffee, green tea. We've got some pretty good food here. Egg ramen. I love that we can make ramen now. Oh, that's so amazing in the game. And what else can we do? So we've already went down the bunny slope. So my thing is I really want to fulfill this entire aspiration. So let's look at what that looks like. Um, so right now we're a snow student. So we've got all of these to go through. We have to go through Thrill Seeker, Trailblazer, and Peak Pioneer. So we've got a lot of work to do. And that's probably how I'll section out my videos is just based on these particular milestones. So there's a lot to go through here. So there's a lot of gameplay that you're gonna see. So we're going to Use this here. I love that. So we got the skiing skills. So we've got all these different skills. Turn our skis and our sledding. Okay, sweet. So I've returned that and it's getting a little laid out. So I, and I got work in 14 hours. So I'm just going to travel and I'm just gonna go home. And our Sim is back home and I have just sent her to sleep because she's pretty tired. Um, so we're gonna let her increase her energy and then I'm gonna go downstairs and check on that rice cooker. So we're gonna release our steam vent and hopefully the rice isn't burnt. Fingers crossed. Who knows? Yeah. I'm just gonna grab a serving. Uh. 
All right. And oh my gosh, my seam has hairy legs. I'm gonna change that. And I like too how you can sit um, at the table. You know, I really love how they have those cultural components in it, like I mentioned earlier. Now I wanna do one of these hot pots. I'm gonna do a hot pot for one. I'm just gonna go with the cheapest one. We're gonna grab a serving and she's really wanting some social, so we might get on social bunny or start a Instagram. And I think I might adopt a cat too. I think this is the perfect house for that. So I think we might do that. I'll wait until a little earlier, well, a little later in the day before we call the, the company. That way we can get some, I think we have stuff for, is this for a dog or for a cat? Looks like it's more for a dog. Might get a dog instead. I don't know, I kinda want a cat. I think a cat would be good. Let's socialize and we're going to chat. So we're gonna work on that social skill. And I think we'll go out and do some snowboarding and sledding and stuff like that but i think we'll buy some first some of that equipment so i'll try to figure out how you go to buy that equipment and how to do that and hopefully we can actually have our own stuff and it actually increases our fitness skill well, let's work out and we're just going to do a power sculpting video look how confident she's walking <laughs> so we're just going to do a power sculpting before she goes off to work and we're gonna do a lot of socializing at work too. And yes, we're gonna say she likes fitness. And we're just gonna let her work out before work. And let's hope that we get up this to 100%. Oh dang. She's harvesting a freaking plant. Girl. Let's see, let's drink an energy juice before we go to work. <laughs> That's something I would really do. And she is heading off to work. And we're just gonna have her socialize with coworkers because now she wants to call. Uh, no, we're not doing any handouts. Sorry, I don't do that in any of my gameplay. That is the most annoying thing. Okay, so she met Kayla at work which is good. We've got another sim that we've met. So she's at work until five o'clock. We're just gonna work hard for a little bit. And she also met someone else too, so that's perfect. And we're going to take it easy for the last remainder of that time. All right, and we're just gonna grab some, I'm gonna empty that. I wonder if we can't eat it now. If not, we'll have to cook her another meal. I'm gonna have her mm, have a quick meal. And we're just gonna have her do a bowl. And we might go out to the bar too, just to see what it's like out there. Uh oh, my stuff is dirty. Oops. And she's gonna eat right in front of it. Oh my God, look at her face. Okay, let's move, <laughs> move some of this stuff out of the way. At least while she eats anyways. Um, we'll put those bowls in the sink. And she's bored. We're gonna send her to the slopes. Okay, so, no, we're not gonna go to the slopes. Let's actually go, um, Let's go by ourselves and we're gonna go out to the bar and we're gonna have a drink and just like mingle, meet with everybody, make some friends because we really want to um, make the most of this experience. So let's go over to the bar and see what happens there. Okay, and we're here at the bar now. So I really like how interesting this is. The other, what the heck? Uh, okay, <laughs> we're just gonna order a drink so let's order drink and I'm going to 
get a juice on the rocks. What the heck? I'm talking to a bear right now. That's how random this. That's how random the Sims is. And we're gonna gossip about this bear. We're not gonna drink. Lamina Galpa Watini. Simbub Krico. And she just acquired the logic skill, so that's good. Let's look at her skills now. So we've got fitness, charisma, gardening, cooking, video gaming, skiing, snowboarding, Salvadorian culture, logic. I don't know where the other stuff of this Salvadorian culture came from. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of good skills going. So I really just want to work on the skiing and the snowboarding. And we have to work out before work. So we might have her go to the gym after this. Or before work. She's pretty tired. Okay. Now let's send her to bed. That's going to be the first thing that we do. Is just send her to sleep. So we can fast forward through all that because we know how Sim sleep. So we'll let her sleep for a little while. And then I will send her to a gym. That way we can work on hopefully like getting a promotion or something. So let's wake her up and have her eat something. Oh my gosh, I didn't even put those in the dirty, dirty dishes. Okay, and I am just going to make breakfast and let's cook. And we're just gonna do something simple. Um. Let's just do egg, eggs and toast. All right, and we've got our eggs and toast. And we're gonna have her go ahead and eat. And then after that, we can change it to some athletic wear and send her off to the gym before she goes to work. And she has work in four hours. So I think that's perfect amount of time to change and change into athletic. And then we're going to travel again. We're gonna go alone, per use. And we're going to go to a gym, and I don't think they have one in this particular world, unfortunately. That would have been really cool to have like a gym. Okay, um, but we're just gonna go to Willow Creek and we're just gonna get a workout in. We're gonna have Naomi just work out, get her strength up, because she wants to be a, an extreme sports enthusiast. So she has to be fit. Cause I think eventually we have to get into some rock climbing, which of course has to do with fitness. So I'd rather just go ahead and get the skill up now versus trying to wait mm -hmm. and then have to come back to the gym anyways. <laughs> and she ran for literally like two seconds. <laughs> so maybe she'll like boxing better. <laughs> And hopefully she'll have some time to like um, take a shower here. What the heck is up with her not wanting to work out? And we'll do some weightlifting too. Let's see. So we're gonna do another introduction to some more people at the gym. <laughs> you like he wanted to talk, so I just introduced myself. <laughs> so let's do do some strength training. Let's see. We're only twenty five percent done. Okay, now we're at fifty. They want her to like push the limits. Okay, and let's have her work on the treadmill for a little bit. Might have, we're not, uh, might not be able to get that skill up. Oh, well, uh, okay, we're gonna, she might go to work stinky. Okay, and Naomi just got home and she actually got a promotion. So she got promoted to a locker room attendant and she's got a bonus and she's making a little bit more money. But she is a little funky and she's a little tired so let's have her take a bath and then we'll have her eat 
and go to sleep. And she has work in 16 hours, but before we go to work, I might have her go to the slopes just to practice because we have we don't really have that much time to really practice, honestly, because we're always going to work. And as soon as we get off, she's hungry. So she's like constantly going all day. And she doesn't have another off day to the weekend. So we definitely have to fit the slopes in somewhere. And I think if we just send her before she goes to work, like early in the morning, then she'll get some of that time in. So maybe we'll just make it a hobby for in the morning and on the weekend. Okay, well, let's go up to the slopes. We're gonna change our outfit and we're going to travel up to the slopes and we're going to work on um, increasing our things for our aspiration. So we're going to stop at an info board and we're going to try to find a remedy. But I wonder what one of those info boards would be. Oh, here's one. Okay. Um, let's learn about, oh, let's learn about the bathhouse. Oh my gosh, she, she's showering in here. Just random, like I said earlier. Um, So we're gonna have her, oh no, girl, change your clothes. Oh my God, my Sam's gonna freeze to death. Okay, so today is Winterfest, so we can also do some stuff there. Oh my gosh, let's change her outfit. Okay, so it gives you information. It says it's located in the slopes. Um, it's basically a hot spring. Okay, so we've used the board and let's see what else we can learn about there. So let's check the conditions of Mount Komarebi before we go sledding. We can use a vending machine or computer to purchase remedy or deterrent. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we did everything we were supposed to do in Snow Student. So we went down the bunny slope, we used a vending machine, and we used a Mount Komorebi info board. So we've actually done a really good job and we've actually accomplished one milestone. So I'm just gonna sled a couple of times and snowboard and I think I'm gonna call this a gameplay. I love the snowboarding and stuff like that. I'm kind of obsessed being continuously. And we're gonna go on a medium intensity. So I think it said it allows for tricks. He just busted his tail too. Okay, so we bought our own personal skis too now. So I think that will help with our our level. So let's watch her ski down this. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love this. So she's working on her skiing skill. Uh oh. So now she can do some tricks too. So she's getting a lot better at this skiing and sledding, snowboarding. So she wants to do extreme sports, so. Okay. She says skiing is terrible. Okay, we're not gonna make that conclusion yet. So we went skiing, we went sledding. I don't think we went snowboarding yet. I'll do that in one in the next one. But we also went from um, being a student, a snow student, to being a thrill seeker. So in this next gameplay I'm going to upload, um, I'm going to be doing some rock climbing, doing a hiking trail, and then also entering the spirit. I don't know. If you oh. like this video, just go ahead and like and subscribe. And let me know what you think about Snowy Escape down in the comments. I really want to know what you think. And if you bought this pack, how do you like it? And how have you played it? Is there anything that I missed that you could be doing that I'm completely blanked on? Let me know down in the comments. But you'll see a part two probably coming up on Friday. So just stay tuned and you'll see what Naomi has planned in the future. And I'll see you later. Bye.